Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, young Bangsamoro learners. Welcome to a day full of learnings and discoveries. I am your teacher, Alia Ayonga, from Tubaran Proper National High School, Division of Lanao del Sur II, your grade 9 science teacher for today. Before we begin, make sure to have with you your pen, paper, and learning assessment sheet. In the previous lesson, you have learned that in codominance, the two contrasting alleles in a heterozygous gene pair are equally expressed. Therefore, the trait is neither dominant nor recessive. For example, red cows crossed with white cows will have offspring that are brown cows. Today, you are going to learn that there are times when there may be more than two types of alleles that control a certain trait, and this certain situation leads to the expression of more than two phenotypes. There's a lot of phenotypes that are easy to tell. Your height, your hair texture, your eye color, whether you have a cleft chin or without a cleft. But one phenotype that you can tell just by looking is your blood type. Yes, you heard it right. Our blood type is also genetically inherited from our parents. Our blood type is a multiple allelic trait. How important is to determine the right blood type of a person? Let's take a look at this video. Another day and another allegation of medical negligence. The error by a lab technician at Casey General Hospital is said to have caused the death of a 25-year-old woman. A complaint has been filed against the lab technician and the hospital. Shocked and angry, Rajeshwari's family claims that the hospital mixed up the blood during transfusion. It is very important to make sure that a person's blood type is correctly matched with that of the donor's blood. Because if incompatible blood types are mixed together into the bloodstream, this can lead to danger or worse, death. Now, let's talk about blood types. These are your blood type A, type B, type AB, or type O. For us to understand these blood types, we first need to understand the concept of antigen and antibodies. Our blood is a specialized body fluid composed of the plasma, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the platelets. Antigens are found in the surface of the red blood cells, while antibodies are found in the plasma. So, if this is your red blood cell, these are your antigens. Antigens are called surface markers because the blood type that you have depends on what kind of antigen you have on your red blood cell. So, if you have an A antigen on the surface of your red blood cell, your blood type is correct, blood type A. Now, if you have a B antigen within your red blood cell, your blood type would be, that's right, type B. How about if your red blood cell contains both the A antigen and B antigen? That's right, you have a blood type AB. If you do not have any antigens on your red blood cell, that means you are a type O, meaning you have zero antigens on your red blood cell. Aside from surface markers, antigens have another important function, and that is to trigger an immune response. And for them to do this, they have to interact with antibodies. The primary action of antibodies are to interact with an opposite antigen to trigger an immune response. The way our blood works is that usually 
we have an opposite antibody in relation to our antigen. So if we have an A antigen on our RBC, our antibodies are anti-B antibodies. So by its name anti-B, it will only attack B antigens. What do you mean by that? So if a type A person gets a type A blood, there will be no reaction or immune response. Why? Because these antibodies will only react to B antigens. But if this person receives a blood type B, these antibodies will interact with B antigens because there are anti-B, meaning they will go to those antigens and destroy them. This is usually the transfusion reaction that people experience when they receive an incompatible blood type. So therefore, a blood type A person can only receive a blood type a and blood type O. For blood type A, they will have A antigen. For the antibodies, they will have the opposite, which is anti-B. Meaning, this anti-B will attack B antigens. So therefore, blood type A is compatible with type A and type O only. For blood type B, they will have B antigens, anti-A antibodies, and is compatible with type B and type O only. For the blood type AB, they will have both the A antigen and B antigen. In opposite, they will have no any antibodies in the plasma. So therefore, they are compatible with type A, type B, type AB, and type O since they do not have any antibodies that could attack the antigens of these blood types. Blood type AB is considered to be the universal recipient. Lastly for blood type O. Blood type O will not have any antigens. That is why Blood type O can be donated to any other blood types. In opposite, they will have both the anti-A and anti-B antibodies in the plasma. So, they are compatible with type O only. Now that we are familiar with blood types, let's go back to multiple alleles. But before that, let us first have this definition of some terms. In the Mendelian Principles of Inheritance, Sir Gregor Mendel studied just two alleles of his B genes. But real populations often have multiple alleles of a given gene. In multiple alleles, the expression of character is controlled by one gene pair, but this gene has three or more forms. As we all know, an example of multiple allelism is the inheritance of human ABO blood group system. Three alleles control this character. The following symbols represent the alleles. Capital I superscript A causes the formation of immunoglobulin A in the surface of red blood cell. Capital I superscript B causes the formation of immunoglobulin B on the surface of red blood cell. Small i does not form any immunoglobulins, whether A or B. Although there are three different alleles for human ABO blood group system, only two are present in an individual at a time. Take this case as an example. Yusuf who has a blood type A and his wife Amina who has a blood type B are wondering why their only child Fatima is having a different blood type that is type O. Is Fatima their real child? The answer is yes. We will find out why as we move through this lesson.
The following are the possible combinations of alleles under corresponding phenotypes. Let's start with A. If we combine A with another A, we will have a gene pair of homozygous A. It is said to be homozygous because it is made up of two similar alleles. This genotype will result to a phenotype of blood type A. Now, if we add A with D, it will give us heterozygous AB. Take note that A and B are codominant, meaning they are neither dominant nor recessive over each other. As a result, they are both equally exhibited in the phenotype. Hence, blood type AB is produced. Let's proceed with A combined with small i. This will give us a gene pair of heterozygous A and small i. Take note that when small i is paired with A or B, small i will always be recessive, meaning they will not be exhibited. They are masked, so the resulting phenotype will be a heterozygous blood type A. Now, it's your turn to do the others. Amazing! Always take note that blood type O phenotype is only expressed when the genotype is a combination of homozygous small letter I. Have you ever wondered how blood type is inherited from parents to offspring? Let's consider this sample problems. Problem number one. Amira and her husband Abdul are expecting their first child. Amira is now on her 7th month of pregnancy. Amira is a carrier of homozygous blood type B, while her husband Abdul is a carrier of heterozygous blood type A. What will be the possible blood type that her offspring will inherit? Let's try to solve the problem step by step. Step 1. Identify the given pair of alleles. Amira has a gene pair of homozygous B, while Abdul has a gene pair of heterozygous A. Step 2. Draw the Punnett square. Step 3. Distribute the alleles in the corresponding boxes. Write the alleles of Amira in the left side of the square. On the upper side, write the alleles of Abdul. Step 4. Perform a cross between each allele. Follow the arrows. Step 5. Write the genotypic ratio of the resulting offspring. So the resulting genotypes are 2 heterozygous AB is to 2 heterozygous B. Step 6. Write the phenotypic ratio in the resulting offspring. So we will have 2 blood type AB is to 2 blood type B. Step 7. Get the probability of what is asked in the problem. So the children of Amira and Abdul will have a probability of having a 50% blood type AB and 50% blood type B. Problem number 2. What is the possibility of having a child with blood type A, type B, type AB, and type O for a male with a blood type AB marrying a female with blood type O. Following the steps, we will have the following result from the cross. For type A, we will get, that's right, 50%. For type B, we will have, correct, 50%. For type AB, we will have, 
0% or no possibility of having a genotype of AB. So as with type O, that's 0%. Now, let's try to evaluate how much you have learned from this lesson. Assessment Modified true or false. Write T if the statement is correct. If otherwise, change the underlined word to make the sentence correct. Number 1. A person with blood type A has B antigens in the surface of their RBC. Number 2. Blood type AB is considered to be a universal recipient. Number 3. A person with A antigen and B antigen has anti-A and anti-B antibodies. Number 4. Blood type O is always compatible with any other blood type. Number 5. In multiple alleles, there are only two alleles controlling a gene pair. Number 6. The alleles A and small i are codominant of each other. Number 7. In the EBO blood group system, the allele small i is always dominant over the other alleles. Number 8. A and B is always recessive over the small i allele. Number 9. A gene pair is said to be homozygous when they are composed of two similar genes or alleles. Number 10. If there are more than two alleles controlling a gene pair, the expressed phenotypes is more than two. That's all for today. For more interesting topics, stay tuned only here at siapkukapaganad.com. Once again, I'm your teacher Aliyah, wishing you all a pleasant day. Masalama!